follow them. For the last few years, we've seen people becoming more and more obsessed with achieving a desktop-like experience without using an actual desktop. However, I've realized I have never yet tried something like this by myself. So I decided to test out probably the closest to an actual desktop, Samsung DeX. Games, work, study, I tried it all. To start with, how does it work? You connect your Samsung smartphone or tablet, whether to your PC, screen or even TV if it is compatible. After that, Android with One UI on top of it transforms to look more to say desktopish and lets you comfortably work in multi-window mode, type with a real keyboard and use mouse. If you are lucky enough to have one of Galaxy's 21 models, you can try to connect it wirelessly. Otherwise, you'll need a USB Type-C cable. However, I didn't quite enjoy the wireless experience. It was laggy, slow and generally inconvenient. I tried it both with Windows 10 and Mac OS Big Sur and both variants were stupidly slow. So I switched to wired connection, which is on the contrary smooth and stable. The DeX mod looks cool. Simple, understandable and yet very functional. While using DeX you can open most of the apps, but not all of them. For example, the whole Microsoft Office system is well optimized, as well as Gmail and Google Chrome. But if we take a closer look at games, nah, some of them don't even launch. The first thing I did was opening the Microsoft Office. You see, I'm a student and I deal with huge PDFs and Microsoft Word files quite a lot. You should know that it's not the most convenient experience to deal with them on phone. For me, Dex pretty much nails this job. Not only you get an access to a full desktop-sized Microsoft Office, but also all the sweet hotkeys like Ctrl-C, Alt-Tab and a bunch of other work here in a full force. What I also want to mention is that you can drag and drop stuff. Sounds obvious, but it made me really want to use Dex. You can even send files from your phone to your PC just by dragging them right from the app in DeX. With this, your Instagram and a bunch of other mobile apps opened on a big screen, I realized this whole thing kinda predicted the M1 Macbox. The next thing I wanted to test out was gaming. I can't say I'm a full-time gamer who plays every new title, but as I have a Nintendo Switch Lite, I always wanted to play some games on a big screen. There are not many games on Android that I would like to play, but I found some. I connected my DualShock controller from GeForce Now video that I'll link down below and played Asphalt 9 and Fortnite. These two are perfectly optimized for gamepads, so I had a really fun and smooth experience. However, some games like PUBG, for example, just don't want to recognize your gamepad and keyboard, so you just can't play them. So, at the end of the day, did I enjoy the Samsung DeX? Yes, it's a very simple yet powerful instrument that lets you step up your portable walking station experience and just makes your life a little, a little, a little, a little bit easier. It is really comfortable to scroll web, edit text files and answer emails using the Samsung DeX. Another side of Samsung DeX that I opened for myself was gaming. It's not a perfect portable console, but still I'm 100% sure you'll have some fun if you try to play on this thing. I think Samsung should try to move away from this walking experience a little bit and try to advertise Samsung DeX as something like Nvidia Shield for example, a station full of games but at the end of the day it's like a usual Android device. That's been it, thank you for watching, subscribe for more.